What's going on everybody? So, in a recent interview with Natalia, she was asked why isn't she part of the Divas Revolution that is going on in WWE? And she gave a pretty brutally honest answer on why she isn't a part of it. She basically says she doesn't know. She doesn't know why she's not included in this. She doesn't really have an answer. Like, it's not that she wasn't clear for a wrestling match. It's not that she's not ready or anything. She just doesn't know. There's a part of her when watching this Divas Revolution play out on screen that wants to join in with the other Divas who are trying to make this big thing happen for women wrestling in WWE. But the powers that be don't really want Natalia right now. She feels that it's not her time right now. It's everybody else's time because you have Charlotte, you have Sasha Banks, you have Becky Lynch who just came up from NXT to do the whole Divas Revolution. Of course, they're trying to take over the whole like cuz I feel like AJ Lee was the only one before that was trying to do the Divas Revolution, but she was just one woman wrestler. Paige was there, but and then she got left by herself because AJ Lee left and now you have three more and then with the signing of Kana and even more NXT Divas that are putting in work in NXT for women wrestling. Hopefully this Divas Revolution will keep on going. Hopefully we'll get to see Natalia actually be a part of it and do something because she is still a great wrestler better than half the Divas or more than half of the Divas on the WWE roster. Uh, she's probably up there with like Charlotte, Becky Lynch, and Sasha and all of them. I like to think Sasha Banks is probably the best one but guess we'll have to wait and see on that next up we have there is an update on ronda rousey appearing at wrestlemania 32 as of today mentioned by the wrestling observer ronda rousey will most likely not be appearing at next year's wrestlemania event wrestlemania 32 that will be held in arlington or dallas texas because she will be taking part in the filming for her upcoming Roadhouse remake. That's right, if you didn't hear, Ronda Rousey set the star in a remake of the Roadhouse film. Now, previously WWE did try to work out a deal with UFC to have Ronda appear at next year's WrestleMania because they're trying to work an angle with Stephanie McMahon. They even plant the seeds at WrestleMania 31 with her coming out the rock and like kicking butt to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Honestly, it would have been really cool, but it's understandable maybe the deal with WWE wasn't really moving forward and other deals were coming to the table and she had to make a decision she finally made one she's gonna be filming and starring in the Roadhouse remake hopefully there's still something to work out with WWE maybe at a Royal Rumble at another SummerSlam at a Survivor Series she can pull off an angle and appear because I think it would be really cool next up we have another NXT diva is in racial controversy yup I mean it I don't know what is it with these NXT divas that are just becoming and going under fire of racial controversy as of recent. There is a couple of them, more than you think, and especially with Hulk Hogan and how he was erased from WWE history because of, of racial controversy. Of course, if you knew, uh, of course, if you know recently, Zara Schreiber, who is the girlfriend to Seth Rollins, was actually released because of some racial things on her Twitter and Instagram account, you know. And then recently, this NXT diva, Noof Alaribi, I have no idea how to say these names, but she recently deleted her, she recently deleted her Twitter account because of some tweets that have resurfaced, some very old tweets from like years ago, and it's crazy. I don't know. I just didn't expect all this stuff to happen. It's very old. It's this is even, it's is on the level of of the Zira kind of controversy, not on the level of Hulk Hogan, because Hulk Hogan wasn't even that bad. These NXT Divas are doing way worse than what Hulk Hogan said. So, and lastly, we have Nikki Bella says Charlotte belongs in NXT. Now, this of course is a part of their whole promo and building a her versus Charlotte. This is not real life of Nikki Bella saying that Charlotte doesn't belong in the main roster or anything. This is just part of the promo because she was being interviewed, Nikki Bella, by Michael Cole. And then she was talking like, oh yeah, because she's having her match with Charlotte. Charlotte really, she isn't that great because she came from royalty. Being the daughter of Ric Flair, she was already born into this and born already a star because who her dad was, Ric Flair. And that Nikki Bella, she says that she's an underdog story because nobody knew who she was. She had to, she had to come up and everything. This is all for promos. Don't take this seriously. If you're taking this seriously, you need to calm down or something. Uh, it's just she just says that Charlotte should go back to NXT and Charlotte's gonna kick her butt 